Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Today, I want to recognize an exceptional care centre in Saskatoon University, Sherbrooke Community Centre. Each week, the members of the community would virtually gather for their favourite weekly events like the church service, Friday concerts with Wes, or the Dawn Show. They were able to stay connected through iPads and laptops, which were generously donated by businesses in Saskatoon. This means the residents choose ways to bring joy into their lives, and the staff are there to support them in any way they can. Each neighbourhood is unique and is fit for their personal style. They also kept active and fit through the establishment of home gyms and green spaces that the staff created to ensure they were getting enough fresh air while being able to socially distance. Mr. Speaker, the community's artist in residence, Alana Moore, also came up with a creative way to stay connected during what could have been a lonely time. She encouraged elders to contribute to their very own magazine, chronicling their pandemic experiences. Mr. Speaker, Sherbrooke isn't just a resident-centred community, but a resident-directed community. There's also a veterans' village where the women and men who have served our country are able to live and socialize with the dignity they deserve. I now ask all members to join me in thanking the Sherbrooke Community Centre staff for going above and beyond for their elders. Thank you, Mr. Speaker.